Have you ever wondered how these buttons work? This is an old set of wired earphones and they came out of an Android phone. They are from the time when phones still had headphone jacks and earphones were included in the box. And the headphones you got usually had buttons on them for things like volume control or picking up calls. But how? How do these buttons work? This is the plug and it only has four connection points. The tip and the first ring are for the left and the right audio channels. The second ring is ground and the last one is for the microphone. There are no other connection terminals, which means that the buttons use only these four to do their thing. Well, now I know how they work, at least on Android phones, but also on my laptop, surprisingly. The solution is quite simple and the same approach can be used in other cases. For example, if you want to make multiple buttons work with a single pin on your microcontroller. Let me give you a hint. I am now measuring the resistance between the ground and the microphone pin on the headset. I'm getting about one kilo ohm right now. But look what happens if I press a button. The volume up button brings the resistance down to about 220 ohms. The volume down button returns about 400 ohms. And the third button gives me about 70 ohms. Hmm. The Android website has an in-depth explanation. I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description below, but in a nutshell, the headset buttons work thanks to a simple circuit known as a voltage divider. A voltage divider is an arrangement of resistors that reduces voltage. The reduced voltage depends on the values of the resistors used. Now let's go back to the diagram from the Android website. We see 2.2 volts and a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor on the microphone. Pressing a button completes a voltage divider circuit together with the resistor inside the headset. As a result, at this point we get a different voltage. Sure enough, that's what happens when I recreate the circuit on a breadboard. Without any buttons pressed, I'm reading about 1.6 volts, but when I press a button, that goes down to 0.05 volts. If I press the volume down button, that returns 0.4 volts and the volume up button gives me about 0.2 volts. Every different voltage level can be interpreted as a different command by the device you have the headset connected to. Let's throw an Arduino into the mix. Here I'm using just a single Arduino pin to read that voltage. And I have it programmed in such a way that every button turns on a different LED. And now you know how buttons on headsets work. Subscribe for more videos.